these are really neat. <clears throat> and they they both are sort of like, remember this from the previous video, you've got uh, these two sources. Anyway, this one shows, well, first of all, it's perfect circles, better than mine. And also, uh, it shows how lots and lots of waves interact. So here's the source right here, and here's the other source, and they're monochromatic, right? Same wavelength, same frequency, same medium, etc. And they are in phase. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set them far from each other, and I'm gonna move them toward each other. So you get some really interesting stuff. Look out here, there are patterns that seem to be lines coming out from the middle. And we're gonna see more and more of those as we get closer. Look at what's happening. Ooh, creepy. Look at what's happening to the spacing of the dark lines. When we get a little bit further, I'll try to tell you what the dark lines mean. Let's just stop right there and I'll tell you about these dark lines. I see a dark line here and here and here. Whoa, now they're all gone. They're completely different locations now. And here and here and here and here, and they're approximately equally spaced. The dark lines mean that I've got, let's call it a crest plus a crest. Those are the dark lines. What about the light lines? It seems to me like the light lines represent a trough and a trough. So in between each of these lines, I've got myself a trough and a trough, and a trough and a trough is also loud. We'll say that it's also constructive. Both of these guys are constructive because you're if you're at a trough and a trough, then a moment later you're going to be at a crest and a crest. You're going to be like sitting here trying to listen to music and you'll be like loud, big wave coming in. But what if you're in between? Now this is hard to see when they're spaced so closely, but in between each of these, like I'll, I'll note it with a green, right in between them, I've got gray regions where it's not light and it's not dark, but it never changes as time goes on. You need to go to FET, P-H-E-T. Go there right now, I think they write it like this. Go there right now and play with the wave interference FET. It will help you to understand this. Seriously, pause this, go away, go watch it. You can come back if you want, but play with that thing and it'll make a lot more sense. But my point is, in between here, we've got always destructive interference. So green is destructive. Because there is, in fact, no vibration. There's no oscillation happening in between those guys. And I think it might make more sense if I get you a little bit more space between them. Like, let's zoom in even closer. These sources are now very close to each other and I have to be really careful not to bump it, and I have to look at it from the same perspective as the camera. When I'm looking at this, let me try to see if I can see anything at all. Okay, when I'm looking at this, I see that as a dark line, and I see the next dark line is right there, and the next dark line is right there, and there's also a dark line right there, which means that we must have uh, light lines right in between them here, here, and here, and those are always constructive. We've got trough, trough, or crest, crest, but they only differ by some amount of time because the cross, trough, trough, trough is gonna turn into the crest, crest a moment later, and vice versa. But in between them, there's a gray region, and I hope you'll agree with me that those happen equally often and spaced exactly in between those. So the only other thing that I want you to take home from this cool moray pattern is as you get the sources closer to each other, the spacing between the crests, crests and the trough troughs, and therefore the constructive and, inter in constructive and destructive interference increases. Watch this, as the sources get farther away from each other, the separation between these things are actually called fringes. The separation from the fringes decreases. Look how small it's getting now. Wow, really small separation of fringes. But as the sources get closer and closer together, the separation between the fringes increases. If you understand what I just said, you're gonna do really well as we go further into diffraction. If you don't, listen one more time. I want you to notice that the separation between the bright and dark fringes is decreasing as I get these sources further from one another. That is counterintuitive, and every time I think about it, I am surprised. This is very cool stuff. 
I'm gonna leave you to it now. You can watch it one more time if you want. Goodbye. Look how far. Wow! Look how close each of these fringes is now. Wow. They're so close to each other. See ya.